How, how much confidence does that build in a kid as he's coming back from? Well, he, he gained the weight back, you know, and that was the one thing he had to do. And then um, the other thing is, you know, he had to get back in that competitive spirit, and he's there. Uh, need to play him more. Need to play Oscar less. I mean, Oscar, I, I got to chalk it up to he's, he's playing too many minutes. How do you, like, not don't, you know what I'm saying? The baskets, things that I know he can do. So probably playing him a little bit. That means Damian can play more. Um, the guy that without him, we don't win the game. Who is that? Who? Chris was good, too. I like that you think they're more than one guy. That makes me feel good. Severe. Without him, we don't win this game. Do you know what he did? Aside from those layups that we really needed to create a gap, he let Kaysen go do his thing. He told me, let Kaysen handle it. I'll just be on the wing. That's a teammate. That is a teammate. Kaysen making those jumpers in that three, the free throws. I told him my Texas two got seven for seven from the line. But I had no problem with Damian being at the line. None. Um, but it's, you know, Florida doesn't go away. They made threes at the end um, that gave them a chance. We missed a free throw that gave them a chance, but we, we did what we had to. I thought Chris Livingston was outstanding. I thought CJ was outstanding. The shots that he made that created gaps um, and the way we defended in the first half. Here's the great thing. Mike Pratt, number raised. How many points did they have at halftime? 22, Mike's number. Who made the last points of the game? Number 22. You don't think Mike was up there tipping balls away? Think about that. And, and one of the nicest people, kind heart. We had his kids and his grandkids and his brother and his wife in the locker room after. Um, I'm just, I'm happy for him. Um, he's been unbelievable supporter of mine. Um, you know, and it, it's easy when things are going good for people to step up and want to be there and be around. And then when you struggle a little bit, they kind of run. Mike wasn't that guy. Mike was the one that would talk through all the stuff. Now, I said this about him. He did call me because he wanted info so he could be in the know. Like, hey, I, you know, and we laughed. Marsha and I laughed about it. But um, I love the guy, and I miss him, and... Uh, I'm happy uh, that this was done. I told Mitch it's a great move and well-deserved. Top 30, only played three years in scoring, rebounding, assist. He only played three years because freshmen didn't play when he played. So it was good. Yes. Cal, you mentioned all those guys who contributed and, and made a big difference. What does it mean that Oscar can have a, a four-point night? Did he only have four? Yeah. Ooh, he missed a bunch. But that's all right. You know what? He was one of the happiest guys in that locker room. So when I tell you that my job is to make sure he's out there being fresh so that he can do what he does, he's like, whatever you say. When I said, take yourself out, you know what he said to me? I don't know how to do that, coach. You just take me out. That's what he said to me. Yes. I know CJ is a shooter, and you just tell people like that, just keep shooting. But how do I you said it that, again. How do you keep those guys from getting inside their head when things aren't going well? Um, I sent them a, a text, all of them. You don't hurt your team when you miss a shot. You don't hurt us when you turn it over. You don't hurt us when you get bullied or miss a layup or you don't dive on the floor. You hurt us if that turns into four more possessions like that. So you got to go on to the next play. I told CJ in the huddle, I said, shoot, if you are open, you let that ball go. Um, this team has confidence in him. And I'm going to tell you what else. The other teams, we know he went like one for 15 or whatever he did over a couple games. The other teams still play him as a shooter because they know he can shoot. It wasn't Antonio's day. It wasn't because he got beat on five back doors. Wasn't offensively. I couldn't keep him in because he kept getting get beat on back doors. But he made baskets when we needed him, when we were dying. He came up with stuff. 
Yes. You talked about Oscar and Antonio tonight just kind of struggling offensively. They combined for eight points every game since the South Carolina game. One of them have been the leading scorers. What does it say about your team to pull out a tough win like that when those two guys are struggling? Well, like I said, it's um, um, this team is coming together and, you know, I, you know, I, I told them they would break through, just stay the course and they're breaking through. Now we got other tough games. I mean, um, I thought we played Wednesday. I'd asked, who are we playing? They said, Arkansas. I said, Wednesday? I said, no, Tuesday. So, like, we, they don't stop coming. I mean, they're one after another. So, you know, we got another tough game Tuesday. We got to play better in certain areas, but we guarded pretty good today. And then they, at the end of the game, they made some baskets and all that, threes, and fought to get back in it. But I, you know, I told Todd prior to the game, I said, Coach, I'm watching the tape. You're doing a heck of a job with your team. That's one of the top defensive teams in the country. They're in the top 10 in like every category defensively. And um, I just wanted us to play faster. And that's why you put Severe in the game. You'll play faster. We got to play that way, even though we can play in the half court. We only had nine turnovers, but Kaysen had three and Oscar had three. So that's six. The rest of the team didn't turn it over. Nine turnovers in a game like that, pretty good. Yes. Uh, Cal, uh, Jacob Taubin played just amazing tonight. What do you think the biggest improvement is since, the, since November to tonight? Well, he, he went through uh, something that a couple of our guys have that I would tell you you don't want to go through. Um, instead of being the best version of himself, he was trying to live up to expectations. Then all of a sudden it started piling up. So after Missouri, when I started him that next game, trying to basically say, and I believe in you and I'm starting you for that reason. Um, but he has built his own confidence, um, where before if he made a mistake, you might as well, you know, you had to take him out in past years. Now he's got it. He's doing it. He's really an intelligent player. Uh, quick twitch. His rebounding balls. How many rebounds did he have today? He had 10 rebounds. Um, you know, he did some good stuff. He did some good stuff. Th let, let me just say, folks, this was a heck of a win for us. And to do it and... You're seeing teams all over the country get beat. I only read about us when we get beat, but there are teams across the country that are getting beat. And it's because that happens. And, you know, you, you play a good schedule, you're going to lose some games. You play a team that's trying to figure themselves out, it takes some time. Now, it's not done. With this schedule, you know, we just, what we're doing is staying the course. We're trying to win now Sunday. It's all we're worried about. We want to have a win on Sunday, and then we want to have a win on Monday. And then let's play the game and see how it turns out. We're just trying to win days. And that's what we've been doing since Tennessee. Just win days. And these guys have been terrific. Last one so I can get out of here. Um, Deb, get one of those guys to go with me because I'm going to do the first. Tonight, uh, you talked about how much that Chris played just tough. He went for loose balls, but you've also been playing him the last few games a lot at that four position. And he's been good. What has he showed you there that's made you want to give him more time at that position? Well, what I know is that he's someone that physically and athletically can do stuff not many players in the country can do. His skills are catching up to that. But you see him on a breakaway do a Ginobili and step through and make it, um, not charge the guy, not put his shoulder down. You know, a month and a half ago, he'd have run the guy over and maybe blew out the official's knee, you know. But he did it, and he's slowing down. We're playing a little difference, which helps him, and I mentioned that to all of you. When the game slows down, it's better for him. Um, but I'm proud of him. I mean, he's... He's doing everything he needs to do to get better. Damien, Severe, you think about it. We're, 
you got a lot of guys that are playing well, and I would expect uh, Oscar and Antonio to uh, step back up and be where they were. Thanks, folks.